Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while here since I've done a vlog. Um, I've just been kind of distracted with some other things and wanted to vlog last weekend but I ended up having to babysit my niece and nephew the whole weekend um, last minute for my brother which was super fun. I love getting to spend time with my nieces and nephews. So that was fun. We had them for a few days and it was a good time to play mom and dad practice, you know, for this baby we've got coming. Um, but yeah, so today I just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm actually 26 weeks today, which is awesome. I'm so happy that we're moving along here. Um, but I did want to tell you guys that I was super sick the last few days. Not super sick, but pretty sick um, with a stomach virus. It was rough. Being pregnant and being sick at the same time is no bueno. And, um, yeah, and I'm out of breath, so, you know, just excuse that, because that's just life now. Um, and Eric was out of town for a few days, and I hate when he goes out of town. He went out of town for work, um, because I just rely on him a lot for comfort and support. But, um, my sister did spend the night with me each night, which was super nice of her. Um, but yesterday, he got home, it was Friday afternoon. He got home and took me to the doctor because, you guys, I had such bad diarrhea that I was kind of worried. And I started Googling things and Eric was worried so he's like, let's go to the doctor so that we don't go into the weekend feeling like crap and that, he, like, I don't want you to end up in the ER or like the, um, you know, Instacare or something like that over the weekend when we could have just gone to our regular doctor, which I actually went to my OB. Um, so anyway, um, we got checked. Everything was A-OK. -okay. They um, even checked me for a bladder infection um, because I had some pressure in my abdomen. And everything looked good. So my doctor just said, looks like you have a stomach virus that has been going around, so just wait it out. Pregnancy can heighten symptoms of viruses and stuff like that. So you should be fine. Just keep drinking liquids. I wasn't even dehydrated, you guys. I thought for sure I'd be dehydrated because I just felt like crap. Yesterday is just like the third day of, like, sorry, this is TMI and whatever, but of diarrhea, and I just felt like crap. So I just thought for sure I would be dehydrated by then, but I was making an effort to drink a lot of water. And, um, yeah, so he said everything looked good, sent me on my way, and just said, if you're not feeling good by Monday, come back in and we'll do a blood test and, you know, check then. But honestly, today's Saturday. I went to the doctor yesterday. I'm already feeling a lot better. Um, things are looking good. So I'm very grateful for that because, like I said, being pregnant and sick at the same time is no bueno. Today's actually kind of a special day, too, because I um, am wearing flannel because it is my cousin Chad's birthday. And um, my cousin Chad was just such an awesome awesome kid. I love him. We grew up um, with my cousins, like siblings. I've talked about this before. Um, super close and um, about six years ago. So yeah, it was about a month after his 29th birthday, I believe. Um, we lost him to suicide. So that was very, very rough and tough time on my family and it still stings a little bit. But every, every um, year on his birthday we wear plaid because he always wore plaid. He loved plaid. And his name is Chad So we call it plaid for Chad hashtag plaid for Chad day and one thing that we do is we go and eat pho If you guys know what pho is like it's like Vietnamese soup. Anyway, he loved pho and so me my siblings and my cousins that are like If I have any around here local because they're kind of they kind of moved in and out of Utah um, We go and eat we eat pho and just talk about Chad, and we all wear our plaid, and it's a good day. So today is a special day, and I'm just remembering Chad and all of his funny, <laughs> he was a funny kid, such a funny kid. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on today. I've been nesting like crazy, I've talked about this. I wanna show you guys some things that I've done since I started nesting. I put pictures in frames, and I'm really pretty proud of myself for that. And then over here above this couch, we put some shelving and frames in. I love this quote. Um, put some pictures in the frames, which, once again, I'm proud of myself. That was a picture I took when we went 
to Italy last year. And that's us sitting on the Colosseum. So yeah, I was pretty, pretty proud of myself for doing some decorating. We also put these frames up here. Just got these from Ikea. And then we put in some bar stools, but that is not it. I have done some serious cleaning and organizing in the kitchen. If you guys watch my pantry organization video, I did um, organize the pantry. But looky looky, I finally got some chalkboard signs to keep us organized. And I'm pretty proud of that. And I organized a couple shelves here in our kitchen, our spi like our spices and oils and like ugh. Some of our cupboards here in the kitchen were just a hot mess. So I went ahead and organized those. And if you guys are interested and want me to do more videos like of me actually organizing and doing those things, let me know. I will film them if you if you want to see them. I plan to do our master bathroom, like completely organize all the cupboards in there and everything as well as um, decorate it because it still needs to be decorated so that is on my list. So I just got a text from my brother-in-law saying that his sister, so this is Eric's sister's husband, his sister just dropped off a bag of clothes at our house. I'm assuming it's baby clothes. Let's just take a look and get the door open and see. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to our other door because I don't see anything. Oh, the spin maybe. Yep. So I'm going to need to bring that in, go through those. We have a lot of baby clothes. Um, so we'll see how those play into what we already have. Kind of funny though, I did notice when I was looking out here that there is something in the snow here. What is that, Poe? Someone... Dang it, I thought it would be like full, but it looks like someone just threw it. Rude. Let's go throw it. It's like half opened, but not. Let's go throw it away. Okay, Paul, let's go. Speaking of baby clothes, I wanted to ask you guys, when should I start washing and like folding and putting away baby girl's clothes? Like, when does that step come into play? Should I wait till I'm like 30? four weeks, 35 weeks, like when's a good time to do that? Um, we got this dresser, so we got it from Ikea, and we got these little drawer inserts, so I plan on just putting like her diaper changing table up here, um, and like diaper changing stuff in the top one, then some clothes, I don't know, I don't know when to start washing and folding and putting those away. Um, this is like all our master bedroom stuff that we need to get rid of. Um, and yeah, I have curtains for my our master bedroom here. Some of you wanted to see what this dresser looks like. We bought this. I vlogged about it. Um, and this is what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and yeah, just put her changing stuff up there. I've got her diaper pillow right there. Um, yeah, so this is what the ugh, baby room is looking like right now. We got some work to do. Let me know um, when I should start doing the, you know, baby clothing prep and organizing and all that stuff. And what baby laundry detergent should I use? I, what, I know there's that popular brand, that Dreft brand. I put it on my registry, but just because Amazon or Target told me to, so I put it on there. But is there a better one? Is that the one everyone uses? I don't know. I need help with that kind of stuff because I just, this is all new to me, obviously. It's my first kid. So, yeah, leave me your tips down below. I'm all over the place today, but I also want to ask, when should I pack my hospital bag? Our hospital is literally 96 seconds away. I timed it um, as far as drive, which I'm assuming we'll be driving and not walking to the hospital. Anyway, when should I pack my hospital bag? And do you guys have any tips for that? I... Um, I've watched a few videos and looked up some lists online, but I'd love to know what you guys packed and what worked really well for you. 
what didn't, that sort of thing. But like I said, we're super close to our hospital, so I'm not too stressed about packing. I definitely want to have some things packed and ready, but if I forget anything or whatever, Eric can just swing home real quick and pick it up. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick check-in. Um, I miss kind of just vlogging because that's, I don't know, that's fun for me too. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions for me, if you have any comments, you want to give me any advice on nesting, please feel free to share because like I said, I'm a, I'm a first time mom. I'm new to all this and I just want to make sure I'm getting all my bases covered. So anyway, we're going to be leaving here to go eat some pho. So I'm going to peace out for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can follow our journey. Um, I make videos here on YouTube about our pregnancy, obviously our life and, um, infertility because we did conceive this baby through IVF and I love to support the infertility and IVF communities. Um, so let me know if you guys have any video suggestions for supporting that as well. So yeah, that's it. Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.